My name is Alexander Mikaviridze. I'm Associate Professor of History at Louisiana State University in Shreveport. And there are many things to like about this miniature. To start with, if we gauge the impact of the artist by the number of celebrities he painted, Isabey is at the top, no doubt. There was hardly any celebrity, whether political, statesman, or generals, or just a social celebrity that he hasn't came across and painted. He was born in 1767 in a, in a small town in eastern France. His father had no connection to artists to speak of. As usually happens, his parents wanted him to do something else, but young Isabey showed that he wanted to do art. And so he started practicing art in, in Nancy first. And at the age of uh, 18, he moved to Paris. And by that time, he was already uh, skillful enough to have letters of recommendation to some of the most prominent artists uh, of the time. So this is 1785-86, right before the revolution struck. Uh, the art of miniature painting was very vibrant under the old regime, but then the revolution comes and many of these artists are struggling or on, on hard times. But Isabey manages to find his way, and that's I think one of the hallmarks of his life, is that always finds a way to weasel, to find his connection to the people who are in charge. So he actually became good friends with some of the revolutionaries and started painting their portraits. As he's admitted to these high-ranking families and then gets to know the people in charge, he actually comes across this young, disheveled officer by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte. And they struck some kind of friendship. I wouldn't say the friendship as in they went out and <laughs> drank beer together, but there was certainly a good relationship between Napoleon and Isabey, and especially Josephine, Napoleon's wife, and Isabey, that when Napoleon came to power in 1799, one of his first decisions is actually bring Isabey as an official court painter. Isabey is, is excellent at miniature paintings. He rarely did massive paintings. And in the 1800s, so just about six months after coming to power, Napoleon makes a decision that from now on, the gifts that the French government is giving out will include miniature boxes. Everything that will be painted on it will be from by Isabey. So Nipisi Bay from 1800 onwards will have a monopoly on this. And he prospered. But uh, there was so much work that Isabey would try to cut corners. But then Napoleon complains about some shoddy <laughs> work that Isabey does. Now, none of that applies, however, in many respects to this miniature because it is exquisite. Uh, in some cases, to cheapen the cost, to, to cut the corner, Isabel will use paper, but not in this case right here. We have an ivory, and the level of detail is just astonishing. Isabel uh, invested time in this piece. It's, it's exquisitely painted. And the topic itself is interesting. Usually miniatures are something of sentimental value, but there was a, also a separate category of official propaganda pieces, and that is a propaganda piece. This is effectively Napoleon at the height of his glory before everything went down. 